Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I am here to share my fabric haul and another souvenir I grabbed <laughs> from my Italy trip. But before we get into that, today's Feature Friday pattern is the, for Love Notions, is the Aria button down shirt and dress. If you do not have this one, um, I highly recommend you grabbing this. There is a class that is also, um, if you want help hand holding um, with how to make this up, there's a class that they offer as well that you can purchase. But $5, this is a fantastic button up shirt. Um, it's a classic, it's a staple. You can make it a dress, you can make it um, a shirt. I've made one um, where I added a tear, the dress version, I added a tear to the bottom, wear it all the time. Um, it's kind of more of a fall dress. But yes, this is a fan. I made this for my sister a couple of times. Um, it's just a really great pattern. <laughs> So, um, and I think this is the first time it's been a Feature Friday pattern because it was new last year. I'm pretty sure this is its first, it's, this, is, this is its Feature Friday pattern debut. So for $5 only, go grab it. <laughs> go grab it. It's, um, it's really a fantastic one and one that you probably will want in your catalog. Um, okay. Again, I apologize. Um, if you saw Tuesday's video, I'm filming... I filmed Tuesday, today's, and Sunday's all at the same time, which is why I'm still wearing the same thing because it's chilly. Um, but I wanted to kind of, I'm playing catch up this week. So, you know, anytime you've been gone from your job for a vacation, there's always like that week of catch up of like email catch up and um, all that kind of stuff. Um, just getting back into the swing of things. So I just wanted to film everything for this week so that I can get my ducks in a row because um, next week I've got capsule stuff coming out. So the summer capsule um, is coming out on Tuesday and then we're going to go over Jenny's spring capsule wrap up real quick. We just that ran out of time on that on Friday next week, I believe. That's kind of the plan going on right now. Definitely the summer capsule stuff's coming out on Tuesday though. Sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already because I'll be sending out the PDF for that. Um, if you want to plan along with me, uh, that PDF will be going out in on Monday in a newsletter. So make sure you've signed up for the newsletter so you don't miss out on that. Okay, guys. So I talked pretty much at length about my trip to Italy on Tuesday. So I'm not going to go much into the details of the trip, but I just wanted to show you some of the souvenirs I picked up. I have everything here with me except for I did buy some Murano glass in um, Venice, but that I'll talk more about that when I get to that part of the trip. I'll go in order of kind of how the trip progressed here. Um, but I went to two separate fabric stores and then I also bought myself a bag. So I will show you guys that. Um, and I'll talk you through a little bit what my family members grabbed as well. Okay, so um, the first, well, the first Sunday. So we flew out on a Friday, got there Saturday morning. All of us were dead to the world, but we stayed awake and did things on Saturday. But then Sunday, um, my dad and brother, or brother, I don't have a brother. My dad, husband, and son all went to a football game or a soccer game. And um, they did buy a whole bunch of spirit wear um, at the Lazio game. So that was kind of the first foray into um, uh souvenirs. In fact, I think that might be the only thing my husband bought for himself. He bought a couple of stickers. We have a Yeti cooler and he likes to put the stickers on those. Um, but my, my son bought himself a leather wallet while we were there because he wanted a nice um, trifold wallet. Um, so he did buy that. But I think that the, the gear from that game was kind of the only thing that they did. I had gotten a lot of recommendations though while in Rome to try and or to try and go to this um, Bassetti Tessuti in Rome. This is the bag. That it was, I mean, there are quite a few uh, fabric shops in Rome. I knew I was only gonna probably have time to hit up one um, just because we had a very packed schedule with all the wedding stuff and then <laughs> we had a lot of um, tours booked and um, you know, we took the train places and stuff. We only had a small, I, I really, Wednesday. So we, we visited the Coliseum um, Wednesday morning. I knew we'd have some time on Wednesday afternoon. And I knew that this fabric shop closed for lunch. So they reopened, they were closed from like one to three, I think. And then they reopened. Um, but we had plans that evening. So I knew I had a small window to do some fabric shopping. My husband, my sister, and my brother-in-law, bless them, all went to this fabric shop with me. So um, my mom still needed a nap, um, like or just to rest a little bit. I mean, she is in remission from cancer, so she gets a pass 
on that all day long. The, she was a trooper on this trip, folks. A trooper. Um, bless her. But we were conscious because we were up so late with a lot of these um, events that we went to of her resting uh, during the afternoon. So they took all the kids back. Um, she and my dad took all the kids back to the hotel just so everyone could kind of rest. It was the middle of the trip. Um, people were sleeping okay, but again, we've been just been up really late at night um, and then getting up early for all these different um, tours and stuff that we had booked. So they took the kids back. So the four of us went to um, into Basuti. Basuti? Basetti. Basetti. <laughs> So my sister took some footage of me shopping, so let's have a look right now. Okay, so this was not a large fabric store, but it was stunning. I mean, all the fabrics like stacked on top of itself, stacked on top of itself. Um, but I was eyeing the silks that were right there. So I'm like, that would be a good thing to bring home. Italian silk, it packs easily. Um, it'll be something gorgeous to make up and a great like souvenir type of fabric. I was thinking silk and linen. That's what I wanted to be like my souvenirs, like some really nice fabrics to take back which is what I bought. <laughs> anyway, the guy came over and helped me and was so kind and um, pulling out, you know, pulling out different silks that I was kind of pointing to. Uh, my brother-in-law was over drooling on all of the um, wools and stuff. He is dying for me to make him a coat at some point, and I will. Um, he's a very large man. He is um, 6'2", 300 pounds, but he is very, he is not fat. He is wide. He is built like a refrigerator. Um, he is just, he was, it was an offensive lineman in college and he is just a very large man. So I think he wears a 52 coat, um, jacket size, but he hates ready to wear jackets because there's just like with us, a lot of different things. He's got real big arms. Um, he works construction and that sort of thing. And it, things get, um, get too tight in the bicep. He needs a full bicep adjustment. Anyway, um, he was over there drooling on all the wools and stuff. So the guy's pulling all this silk down, and um, I was like, okay, what what are we talking per meter? Well, $85 per meter on all of these silks, but he'll give me a special deal for $65 per meter um, on all these silks. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to need to narrow it down to, you know, like two different cuts because I wanted at least three meters of each um, so that I could actually make something with them, <laughs> you know, something that I would really love. So then he says, well, and if you want, um, he's like, we have last season silks are in the basement if you want to take a look. And those are $25 per meter. So I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. So my sister, the boys stayed upstairs and my sister and I went down into the basement. I'm like, I'm not going down to the basement by myself. <laughs> so my sister went down there with me and was glad she did because she picked out her Christmas gift basically. So let me show you what we grabbed from the basement. So these were all last season silks. And um, I grabbed, I only grabbed six cuts of fabric, period, for the entire trip. So I felt very good about that. Um, but um, I, we, yes, she was helping me kind of decide on things. And um, oh, it, this stuff is just so gorgeous. And it is, um, 
a good weight, even though, so this is a silk crepe machine. So this was the first one that I grabbed. I grabbed four meters of this and they're all narrow. Look at the colors on there. I mean, those are all my colors. Um, I want this to be a dress of some sort. And for some reason, this says Christmas to me a little bit. I think it's the plaid, the plaid little bit. Um, I just think this is so beautiful. So I grabbed four meters of this one. Again, this was the a little less expensive. I mean, $25 a meter is not inexpensive, but for silk, I felt pretty good about that. So these were last seasons. Um, I mean, yes, it would make a beautiful lining, but I want this to be a dress and I feel like a shirt dress. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe not. I could have my mind changed. Um, but these were all, I mean, these colors are all on my color card. The oranges, the yellows, the warmer greens, and this cobalt blue. So this was the first one I grabbed. Again, four meters of this beautiful, and it's a crepe de chine, but it is a thick crepe de chine. Like, I, I can't easily see through it. So um, I don't even think it's going to need a lining. Unless maybe for warmth. But that was the first one I grabbed. And then my sister talked me into this one. This one was her favorite. It's the same fabric, just in the, uh, the other colorway, but it's this green. Now, this green, that's the back. It's amazing how much more vibrant the colors are on the right side. Um, this green is not really, I mean, a little bit, this kind of green, a little bit, but um, it's a little more um, cool, the green, I feel like, than what my clear. It's clear, and I'm clear. Uh, but I'm more warm than cool. But all the other colors in it, the kind of the ochres and the oranges and the yellows, those are in my color palette. So I just got three of this thinking it could make a really cool shirt. Um, and she talked me into this one. <laughs> also, the euro was um, really close to the dollar while we were there. So um, that did help. So there we go. So that um, I bought three meters of that one. Um, I saw this one and you guys know how I feel about an animal print. This is, so those are both uh, crepe de chines. This is a silk twill. Isn't that just, I just love a good animal print and this is stunning. I think I just got three of this. Did I? Hold on. I know I can't remember if I got three or four. One, two, three, three. I got three meters of this. But was this one wider? No. They're all like 110 centimeters wide. Um, whoop. But I just, I couldn't help. I mean, I see this is a shirt dress. Everything I'm seeing is a shirt dress. So my mind could definitely be changed at some point, but this is definitely gonna be in my fall sewing. Um, and I do think I want this to be a dress. Cause this is, this is weightier, it's a silk twill. Um, so it's a little bit weightier. It can make a cool pair of pants too. But I don't know, I just feel like this is a dress of some sort. Maybe a shirt dress. I just love it. I, I mean, animal print, and these are all my browns. Um, it just says neutral. <laughs> I know that that's atypical. So those were the three that I grabbed. And then I told my sister to pick one out um, and that I would make her a dress for uh, Christmas. So this is my sister's Christmas gift. I mean, I'll turn it into a dress as well. But these are, so these are much cooler colors. She is a sunlit spring. Nope, sunlit summer. She's a summer. So she's a cool color palette. She looks great in navy and she looks great in this hot pink. So, um, and even this like teal color. Um, but yeah, these are her kind of cooler colors. She does go a little bit more muted, but she is not quite as muted as like my daughter's Calm Summer. Um, she has a little bit more vibrancy in her colors than my daughter, for instance. Um, but she picked this out in these beautiful colors um, and she wants a dress out of it. And we were kind of looking at patterns a little bit um, because there's another, she talked me into something else too, but she just, she really loved this one. We got three meters of it to do, um, she's got legs for days. Um, so she wants to do, I think like a shorter um, shift dress kind of style, but um, with a cool sleeve, like a cool um, statement sleeve. So she told me, she's like, I know exactly what I want. So we'll talk more about this when it gets a little closer to Christmas, but this one, this beautiful silk I did grab for her and that's gonna be her Christmas gift made up as a dress. 
And then one of the um, silks that he had pulled out from the upstairs that was not the 25 a meter, but the more expensive, whatever, 65 a meter, but I just couldn't get it out of my head. And I'm like, you know what, this, this is, I should just get it because, <laughs> because I'll regret it if I don't. And you guys are going to see this and you're going to agree with me. I know it. This is a silk charmeuse. And I just hope Look how stunning. It's like a whole little scene. I can't remember. A lot of these were by the panel. I don't think this was by the panel, though. I think this was just yardage. Um, I bought three meters of this. And this, I definitely want it to be a shirt. I'm going to have to get um, pretty, you know, fancy matching my buttons up the front to match my print. But I've got three meters of it, so I think I can be a little bit fussy. And then anything that I don't use for the shirt, obviously, I'll use, um, you know, for linings or, I mean, most of this will go to the shirt, but God, and it's a, just a great weight. It's a thicker weight. It is a silk charmeuse. I will wash and dry it, so it'll lose a little bit of its sheen um, and kind of take on more of a washed silk feel, but, um, but that's fine because that means taking care of it is much easier down the road, um, and silk always holds its color really well, but oh, I mean, just the colors in this. I had to buy it, right? Um, even at the high price point. It's just so stunning. This is my favorite piece. And to be honest, um, even with the other like current season silks that were up there, there were some really, there were some really beautiful ones, but um, you know, I, I, they weren't ones that I, I mean, I can't even really remember what the rest of them looked like. This one I would have remembered. <laughs> so I'm glad that I grabbed this one. He's such a great shirt for the fall. Um, okay, so that is all the fabric that I bought in Rome at Bassetti. Um, again, they had beautiful linens there. Um, I just, I had a very short amount of time that I was able to shop. Their wools were gorgeous. I could have spent all afternoon in there, um, if we didn't have other things that we had to get to. Um, and honestly, I don't, I didn't, I don't need any fabric. And this wasn't like a great deal price-wise. <laughs> So um, I just wanted to get a few pieces that would remind me of my trip and um, be something kind of special that I would think about every time I um, wore that garment. So yeah, I feel good about my decisions there. Then um, also in Rome, there were obviously leather purse places everywhere. My sister bought a bag. My mom bought it. Well, my dad bought a bag for my mom that she's going to get for her birthday. And um, I bought a bag. I have wanted a quilted Chanel bag forever. That is like my dream, my unicorn bag. I will never be able to afford a Chanel bag, <laughs> quilted bag. But look at this beautiful Chanel inspired quilted bag. Isn't it beautiful? In this beautiful mustard color. It's got some nice pockets in there. It's got the um, beautiful chain that's got the leather, you know, woven in through there. I mean, it's Chanel inspired, but I have wanted a bag like this for about as long as I can remember. They had a black one um, that was up in the window and I was sneakily buying the bag for my mom. And um, I, I say sneakily, she knew she was getting it, but I was, you know, she knows she's getting it. So I'm not ruining in these surprises. Um, her birthday's in August, but um, maybe she'll forget about it, but <laughs> she got a cool one. Um, but I was staying there and checking out and getting it so that my dad could um, pay me back for it or whatever. So he can give that to her. And I saw the black one and I was like, do you have an, you don't have to have that one in any other colors, do you? And she's like, oh, I've got it in the mustard yellow. I just don't have it out. It's in the back. And I was like, oh my gosh. Mustard yellow is one of my colors. So she went to the back and got it and I snatched it up and great price points too. Um, I, it was under a hundred euro for this and it's leather. I made sure and checked, um, where I could see bits and pieces of the leather, <laughs> of the leather. Um, so I feel very good about that. But anyway, this was my Chanel inspired bag. Again, my son got a, um, wallet and, um, I got a bag. My daughter didn't want one though. They had, I mean, just, there were bag purse shops and, um, you know, scarf shops and stuff everywhere. But, um, 
yeah, my daughter didn't want a bag. Now she did get a shawl. She needed a, um, like a pashmina for her outfit that she wore to the Basilica, um, for the wedding because it was sleeveless. So we got her a real pretty, uh, pale yellow, um, wrap, um, there in Italy. So she enjoyed wearing that and had, um, that's perfect. So that's a little souvenir for her. And then we also, so, that side of my family, my aunt, who's my dad's sister, is an artist and a watercolor artist, artist and a beautiful, wonderful watercolor artist. And my cousin that's the stylist, her twin sister, is also a phenomenal watercolor art artist. So art, like, runs rampant in that side of the family. And when we had gotten um, to their BRBO, where they were staying, my aunt was like, oh my gosh, Ava, there is a art supply store just around the corner from our place. You've got to go see it. So, um we made the trip, you know, we had to go up there. Um, I guess it was the day of the wedding. So Saturday and, um, Ava went with us and my aunt's like, okay, let me get my shoes. She's like, I haven't gotten to go into it yet. This art supply store had surely has been there for 150 years. <laughs> I mean, there were things in there. It was amazing. There were a couple of, you could tell, um, like classes of artists that were there getting their supplies for some sort of like a summer tour. Uh, they were speaking English, um, with, a Brit there were some British accents in there, some American accents. Um, but obviously they were there for a class. There was a teacher and she was instructing everyone to get, you know, their things and stuff. College age, about college age, probably, um, of all these students. So a, a well-known like art supply store that just happened to be around the corner from my aunt, um, was. And so Ava picked out a couple of paintbrushes that, um, you know, paintbrushes you can get anywhere, but my aunt's like, buy a couple of these. And then you can always remember that, you know, oh, I bought these in Rome. So, um, that's where Ava's souvenirs came from. She got some, um, fancy alcohol-based markers, which she's got some here, but she got some, um, she didn't bring a ton of her art supplies with her on the trip, but once we had gone into this shop and she had art supplies, she started carrying her purse with her everywhere and it was stuffed full of art supplies. And she's carrying this leather bound sketchbook that she bought there with her and then proceeded to sketch all around her uh, the whole rest of the trip. So I think that was a really good um, thing for her. But then we went to Venice and I was not planning on doing any more fabric shopping, but um, we're walking. It was actually the second day we were there and we were slowly making our way back to the train to go back to Rome. Um, and there were a few shops we had passed by that everyone wanted to kind of pop back into for various and sundry reasons. Again, there were 11 of us traveling together the whole time. Um, so my sister is a family of five. We're a family of four. And then my two, my parents. Um, so it's a lot of people. <laughs> and, um, but, but we, yes, it, it worked. It worked fabulously. We never had any issues eating together for any of our meals. It was wonderful. But as we're walking down one of the main streets there in Venice, I see a big sign that says fabric. And I'm like, Ooh, so, and I had seen it earlier, um, but we had gotten there on Sunday and a lot of it was closed, but you can see, I'm like, I think they sell fabric in there. Um, but they also did like custom clothing. It looked like, so as we're walking back through, I'm like, oh, they do. I could see bolts of fabric because the doors were now open. It wasn't just the store windows. So I'm like, I just want to pop in real quick, real quick. So I popped in and I'm like, I just want to look at their linen. Uh, you know, I've got my silk in Rome. I just want to look at the linen and see. So the name of the shop was G um, Benevento. In Venice. And... I bought the rest of the bolts of this one. I mean, hold on, it's upside down. <laughs> it's a directional print. Hold on. <laughs> I, I want you all to get the full effect. <gasps> Isn't it stunning? It's on an, it's an ivory. It's not white. It's an ivory background. And look, those colors are all of my colors. And my sister also fell in love with it. She's not the same color palette. She's a summer. But she was like, I could wear a white tank. I want a skirt in that. She's like, I want a skirt in that. And I'll wear a white tank top with it. So I'm like, well, we're going to match because I want to dress out of this. <laughs> um, anyway, so I bought the bolt. There were 4.4 meters left on the bolt. And I bought the bolt. And it was expensive. Um, it was pricey. In fact, the guy told me a few times. He's like, per meter. 
per meter. And I was, he didn't speak English. Um, we, we had a little bit of a communication barrier and I was like, I know, I know. <laughs> um, it was, this was 65 a meter. So it was, it was expensive linen, but, um, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So I need to decide what I want to make with this. And it needs to be something that I wear forever and ever. Although, you know, when I checked out, so 4.4 meters at 65 euro, um, it was like 265 euro, which I'm going to make a skirt and a dress out of this. I mean, that's an expensive dress to pay $265, like 280 or something with the exchange rate. Um, like that's an expensive dress. Even if you're splitting it up between a skirt and a dress, that's still spending some money, but it's not like blow the bank expensive. So when you think of it in those terms and the fact that it's a souvenir from Italy, it, I don't know, like I, it just made sense to me. And this is 150 wide. So this is a nice wide yardage. So I will easily be able to get, it's even got my orange in it, folks. It's got my orange. Look, it's got my orange. Um, so anyway, so I'm making a skirt for my sister out of this and she'll just put her colors next to her face. And um, I think I'm going to make a dress for myself because again, I've got 4.4 meters, which is plenty, plenty of yardage. So um, I just took the entire bolt because it was so stunning. This was a really quick in and out like little fabric shop. It's totally not planned, but so glad that I popped in for that. So those are the six pieces of fabric that I grabbed. I also, um, while we were in Venice, so the Isle of Murano, um, which is where they do all the beautiful glasswork, is just right by Venice. In fact, um, usually you stay in Venice and then take a little ferry or water taxi or whatever over to Murano to go visit. Um, but they have a lot of the Murano glass in Venice. And my sister and I both, I purchased some really fun, bright, different colors of um, stemless wine, they're stemless wine glasses slash cocktail glasses, I think they could be. My sister went with the more traditional stemless wine glass um, for hers, but I bought six glasses that are all different, um, different six different colors, but they all kind of, because um, there's like speckles of bright color like in them, go together, and I bought a pitcher. Um, and my sister got eight stemless wine glasses, but we did not want to travel with those. So um, we split the shipping and had them shipped to her house because again, we'll be back um, visiting them here in a couple of weeks for a memorial golf tournament for my uncle. So um, I'll be able to grab them there because the gal was like, yeah, they'll be there in 10 days. So they're probably, my sister probably already, well, maybe not. She'll be getting them probably here pretty soon, but we did go ahead and have those shipped so that we didn't have to worry about anything breaking. So that is the other, I mean, that was a big purchase, but that was the other um, big souvenir that I brought home with me as well. I just don't have them here right now. So there you have it. Those were the little goodies that I grabbed in Italy. And the way that I packed made bringing all of this home super easy. In fact, I even brought home some of my parents' souvenirs as well because I had plenty of room in my suitcase. So um, that is also very exciting. Okay, guys, that is all I have for today. I hope you've enjoyed my little Italian fabric haul. And now we'll kind of forget talking about Italy. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, the trip was wonderful. Um, I will quit banging on about it now. Just kind of wanted to show you. And we'll go back to kind of our regularly scheduled um, content and topics that will all be happening next week. Um, Sunday is going to be kind of a plans for the channel, content, what do you want to see type of thing for the summer um, video. So it's going to be a chatty one. So um, that will be on Sunday. And then capsule sewing starts on Tuesday. So make sure you sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on that PDF. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful Friday. I hope you get some sewing in and I will talk to you on Sunday. Bye.